Caledonia Fly Company is seen as the leaders in design and quality um, in Europe and we do a little bit of product testing um, now and again as people, all my friends know and my customers know, I seem to always be on the river uh, or a loch. Um, so we're always trying to come up with something new, something that actually works better. This year, in 2016, we've added uh, a few new patterns as always, around about 100 to our range to make sure that the anglers have a, a, a choice, something new that they have confidence in to catch fish. Because at the end of the day, the most important thing when an angler goes out there listening to the ghillie is one of the most important things, but also fishing with confidence. If you don't fish with confidence, if it doesn't happen, you're always out to look to blame something. And the ghillie, you cannot blame the ghillie. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start with, this is a Willy Gun, one of the most iconic flies out there. Uh, this one's actually a gold Willy Gun. And what we've done is, it's such a good catcher, we've added some feelers out the back just to give it that little extra bit of movement in the water to entice a take from a salmon. Bob, would you use this fly on this beat? Yeah, I certainly would. It looks uh, very attractive, Malcolm. What yeah. salmon wouldn't uh, take that? Well, we will try it later on today and we'll, we'll see how we get on. It's too small. <laughs> <laughs> we've also launched a new range of loop tubes Looking at the market, there was a gap in the market, everything was so big. So I went down to a 10mm loop tube with a little cone head on the front to give you a little bit of depth, but not too big a fly. Slender, lots of movement, just enough weight to get it to break the surface and go down a little bit and still carry the current and move around in all the, all the different back eddies etc in the streams. What salmon can't resist that? It's absolutely brilliant. Really good catchers, that's all yeah. I can say. We, yeah. we've, we fished them, I fished them up north, I fish them again, uh, tweed, I fish them on the tummel, um, absolutely fantastic. Um, not guaranteed sport because you can never guarantee a salmon, but you'll feel confident putting these flies on. Yeah, certainly, I wouldn't have any hesitation in putting that on in the summertime. We're now into April and uh, things are definitely warming up. The river temperature now uh, this week was up as high as 45, which is slightly alarming for our beats um, because the salmon tend to then shoot through to the middle river uh, far quicker because they have more energy to travel further. Um, and you know, as, as we've hit April now and the sun's out today, it's a glorious day, uh, this tree behind us over there uh, at the base of the cat holes, that is always the first tree to come out uh, in, in leave. Uh, and there, you just see it starting to, to, to come out now. Um, so uh, fly patterns tend to start coming down in size now. You're down to maybe one inch tubes instead of the one and a half or two inch. Yep. Uh, and then we go into the, the summer patterns. Um, on the tay here, uh, on these beats in particular, uh, uh, in 1978 there was over 600 spring salmon caught uh, until the end of April. But you wonder whether we'll ever see that again. But the last four years has seen the, the spring coming back and we're really excited about that. Uh, this year's confirmed that again. Um, we're about to go into summer. Uh, let's hope summer's good. Uh, and. Uh, let's uh, hope that the autumn uh, takes a turn for the better because the last two years have not been great but uh, I think we all need uh, a good successful run spring, summer and autumn and let's hope that the, the autumn's much better this year um, and these flies I think uh, Malcolm you've got some lovely uh, small summer uh, flies there for smaller rivers Yeah, uh, they look really uh, tasty to me go down to um Smaller rods, switch rods. These are fantastic to fish off a switch rod. Say 11 feet, in about that, that size, 10 feet, 11 feet. Small, delicate work, and you can still do the small, delicate work on the bigger rivers. Um, flies like this, um, fished, can take fish up to uh, 26 pound. Donald's had one at 26. I've had 18s, unfortunately I've not had anything over 20. But um, these size 16 and 14, um, BMDs, uh, Nordic doubles, um, fantastic hook hold on these flies um, and we'll always 
stubborn fish, fish that have seen everything. Small, go small, in the warmer months, when the, the water's up in temperature, really good. I'll tell you uh, another uh, uh, quite nice uh, story, uh, Malcolm, that I learned from a, an old uh, dee gilly oh, many, many years ago, uh, which has always stayed with me. Uh, and I dare say others have had the same experience. This uh, old guy uh, told me that uh, when you're fishing in the summertime, any time really from May onwards, and you have fish in pools, when, when you get to the, the late evening and you see the woodcock on the wing, mm -hmm. he said to me, he says, put the largest fly in your box on, mm -hmm. on your rod and he says, have your wits about you because the take is incredible. And I can always remember fishing up in the Tummel in particular where you had resident fish in the pools and some days you would blank until that last half hour. The magic and hour. My goodness, the takes you got were unbelievable. <laughs> it's sheer violence. So you, <laughs> that's a little tip to, to you out there that uh, you should always remember that. Woodcock on the wing, half past nine, ten o'clock at night, right. biggest fly in your box. I used to put on a fly that was about an, an inch and a half tube yeah. and the, ro the line used to get ripped out your hand. Mm. Unbelievable. I'm lucky enough to do a lot of product testing in a year and I meet up with a lot of good anglers who help Caledonia fly company out. Ian Wilson is one of these people. He comes from the borders, he fishes the tweed and he fishes the D and everything in between. He's like me, he's crazy about fishing and he comes up with some fantastic patterns. This is one of them, this is the Posh Tosh. Ian's pride and joy, he's done a lot over the years with it that Caledonia have developed into their fly range. Um, a very, very successful fly. Also one of our new flies for 2016. It's called the Lady McClure. It's been named after the designer, Claire Mercer Nairn. She's lucky enough to live and own a beat on the River Tay called Upper Isle of Mouth and McClure. Claire looked at colours around about her in her rhododendron bushes and her, she had a red squirrel um, hopping along the river bank and we came up with this pink and orange cascade style pattern which has proven to catch a few fish already in the spring um, and I'm sure at the back end will be an absolute favourite with everybody. As you can see I brought one or two flies with me today. This is only a small part of our range. Caledonia Fly Company has nearly 2,000 different patterns to cater for everybody's types of fishing, be it saltwater, pike, salmon, trout, grayling, carp, you name it, we cover it. Um, our flies are available from all good tackle dealers throughout the UK and Europe. I've been with an expert today in Bob giving you advice. This advice is also available in your tackle store. So if you're not sure when you go in and see this Myriad of flies, ask the store. There's got experts in there. Ask these guys, these will keep you right. These guys know what's happening that week, what the river levels are and what's fishing. The flies are there, the advice is there. Go and see your stores. <laughs>